Tell me what you say now Tell me what you say, come again If you cannot stay down Then you do not So, <clears throat> welcome back to my channel I'm Emmy. If you have not subscribed to my channel You're most definitely welcome um, And If you do not subscribe to my channel Head down below Click the red subscribe button and turn it grey And while you're at it Please turn on your post notification bell so you can be notified every single time I drop yet another video. Um, today's video, we're gonna be chilled. Um, you can see I'm not even looking good like that. So, so it's gonna be chilled vibes. Um, basically, today's video is a tribute to 2021. We're gonna be saying goodbye to 2021 for good. Like we're saying bye. Um, today is the... 30th, 30th, 30th. I don't know if it's 29th or 30th of December 2021, and I decided to record this video today and not earlier because I wanted it to be at the end of December. Um, I'm just gonna be answering a few questions that I should have made a checklist on beginning of the year, but I didn't do that. So I'm just going to get the, the questions from Google and I'll answer them um, based on my whole year. Basically, I'll be answering questions that Google set for me to see like how my year went and all that. So, yeah. So I have 40 questions that I'm going to be answering. Um, I'm getting them from Google if I didn't mention that earlier on so question number one is what did you do this year that you'd never that you've never done before this year I was very I was very unapologetic um, I took risks I took a lot of risks um, I moved <laughs> Which I've never done before. I've never moved out of this town before. Um, I met a few people. Um, yeah. There's honestly for me, I don't step out of my comfort zone a lot. I am, I kind of restrict myself. So I would say the thing that I've never done before that I did this year was probably taking risks. I'm not a risk taker, but this year I took hella risks. The first risk I took was moving from Runduk to Runduk. Second risk, starting university at 16. Yes, at 16. At 16 years old. So, yeah. Number two is, did you ever keep your New Year's resolutions? um did i even have new year's resolutions i just had a checklist i don't know if i'm gonna find it but if i do find it i'll insert it somewhere here if i don't yeah but i did have like a kind of checklist that i wanted to a list of things that i wanted to accomplish by the end of the year which is now um which was get on a plane which i still didn't do um draw closer to god which i still didn't do guys like i feel this year was literally so all over the place that i didn't even get the chance to follow my own checklist but it's okay we moved child number three is did anyone close to you give birth actually a lot of people close to me gave birth um i have a friend um some are still pregnant um <laughs> yeah i have a friend an aunt yeah quite a number of people gave birth this year that are close to me some that i don't even know of but like quite a number of people gave birth this year like a lot of people gave birth this year and which most of them are baby girls for some reason like um did anyone close to you die um unfortunately yes I lost I lost two people my grandfather and my great grandmother. May their souls rest in peace. Um what cities, states, countries did you visit? Um I actually did not travel this year 
I didn't travel this year. I didn't. Apart from me moving to to Windhoek in February. Oh, I went to Sakopmund in September, if that counts. Um, what would you like to have next year that you like this year? Patience. A lot of patience. Um, a relationship with God. Very, very strong relationship with God. Uh, money. Happiness. Um, yeah. Good health. And I would like to keep the, the people that, the people in my very, very small circle still with me. Number seven is, uh, what dates from this year will remain etched upon your memory and why? Um, <clears throat> honestly, 2nd of June, 2021 um, is a very important day to me. I'm not going to mention why. But the question said I should mention why, but mm, child. um there aren't really significant dates like number eight what was your biggest achievement of the year my biggest achievement of the year was definitely um doing well on my academics um being able let's underline that being able to go to university Especially at my age. I know I'm not the first one. I'm definitely not the last one But I'm honestly very very proud and I see that as a very very big achievement and accomplishment um, Is that I stay true to myself. I didn't lose myself um, Yeah, I remain the same person I, I, I used to be in Rundu or I am in Rundu. I mean the same person I didn't go astray. I didn't the only thing I, I the only thing that changed is I started eating more, which is not a bad thing. But yeah. <clears throat> um what other hardships did you face? Um being broke is real. Yes, I faced it, I overcame it, and we are beating hunger. Team no hunger. But on a serious note, my biggest hardships were making friends. I may, um, I may put it as, I may paint this picture that I don't want friends or I'm not interested in making friends in Windhoek. Um, that's actually not the case. Okay, it's, it is the case, but partially. Um, I do want to make friends. I do want to have friends where I can go chill. They can come chill at my place. You know, we can have relationships friendships relationship friendship relationships um we can trust each other we can rely on each other we can you know be each other's buddies um help each other with school work help each other with any other activities so yeah my biggest hardship was that and also adjusting to moving like adjusting to a whole lot of things like Yo, a lot of things like adjusting was really really hard but home girl made it i made it out did you suffer illnesses or injury um illnesses there was a time i i i caught flu but flu is common right injury not really like as i mentioned i i'm I don't step out of my box, meaning I don't do any risky activities or I just go to school, come back home, go to town on Fridays. So yeah. Um, number 12, what was the biggest thing you bought? Hmm, the biggest thing I bought. Um, the biggest thing that I bought. Oh shit. Okay, I didn't yet buy furniture so I wouldn't know. But when the time comes, the biggest thing that I will buy will be a bed. Um yeah, a bed. In like a few weeks from now. <laughs> so but right now the biggest thing that I bought would be what would it be 
oh my bed sheets it's like this big this big so yeah biggest thing i bought were bed sheets i'm looking at them um where did all your money go to Help me say it. Food. <laughs> food. Food. Most of my money went to food. To the point where I would be using my transport money for school to buy food. <laughs> oh, what did you what did you get really really excited about? Um I got really excited when I, of course, passed to my second year, um, and also when I held my student card in my hand, and I was like, "I'm going to varsity. I'm going to varsity." Yeah, and also because Uncle Innesfaf came through, baby. <laughs> um what song will always remind you of this year um yo. train wreck um train wreck by james arthur because like every day i'm reminded that this year is literally me in a train wreck i was in a train crash and calling for someone for the lord to pull me out of this train wreck which is the hardships of this year um i really don't know and the song fountains by thames and drake it's like it's giving the vibes just like some of the days this year gave it gave the vibes but yeah this year gave a lot of energies man like it gave it gave a lot of things um compared to this time last year are you happier or sadder thinner or fatter richer or poorer happier or sadder um i would say i'm i'm, I'm 250 percent happier thinner or fatter child i gained weight so i'm definitely fatter richer or poorer i'm richer richer every day i get rich every single day i get rich why because i'm blessed with life being alive honestly is how would i put it me confidently saying i'm alive i'm well i'm healthy is me saying i'm a billionaire in fact more than even a billionaire that's how i feel so i'm definitely richer um and in terms of money um i would say i'm also richer yeah what do you wish you'd done more of i wish i went out more not clubbing i wish i went out more i wish i spoke more i wish i um i wish i socialized more because i didn't do any of that this year what do you wish you'd done less of eight i wish i ate less because now i'm suffering while other people are taking bikini pictures i'm at home sick as hell so yeah i wish i slept less i wish i procrastinated less um ate less um cared less um how are you spending Christmas? Actually, since this video is being recorded on the 30th of December, I spent Christmas at home. We drank cool drinks and passion fruit and lemonade and juice. Um, I spent time with my family, honestly. Yeah, it was a chilled Christmas. We, we ate. Most importantly, we went to church um we went to church before even starting anything before bright stems were up before anything for anything we went to church to thank the lord 
yeah so i spent my christmas really well um did you fall in love this year yes i did fall in love this year do you hate anyone now that you didn't hate this time last year i don't live a life of regrets i don't live a life of hatred i literally just live baby we just live and <laughs> we just we're just living like we don't hate of yours and no hate zone baby no hate zone yeah what was your favorite show my favorite show was definitely zuba i love zuba the drama yeah but i love zuba. i will always watch zuba so yeah apart from that i didn't watch much tv this year because child it was hectic so it's zuba and tyler perry sisters um what was your greatest musical discovery of the year musical discovery as in like an artist that i found out about or what did it mean i would say amari 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 however her name is pronounced i have been sleeping on the girl i have been sleeping on the girl what was your favorite film i don't know i'll go check me then i'll insert it here because honestly i forgot it's been a rough year <laughs> um what did you want and get i wanted happiness and i got happiness um i wanted education and i have education um i wanted uh yeah i wanted peace i have peace so yeah um what did you want and not get uh i wanted i wanted a distinction in a certain subject but i didn't get it so yeah we'll try again next year um and i also wanted i wanted a new polaroid camera and i wanted a record player which i think i might get for my birthday next year might um, what was your favorite meal my favorite meal was <coughs> my favorite meal was definitely noodles i lived off noodles noodles this year um it's my favorite meal because it's really quick it makes me full um it can be breakfast dinner lunch snack anything like you can eat it as noodles itself and you can eat it as chips <laughs> so what did you do on your birthday on my birthday i was actually kind of sick in fact i was sick i was sick on my birthday I wasn't feeling well i was just at home like the day before my birthday i took pictures um i posted on my birthday um but my family in windook surprised me with a cake they sang for me a lunch no dinner sorry um cold drinks it was just nice man it was nice it was nice to be at home alive and yeah what one thing would have made your year immeasurably more satisfying honestly having my own space um i really appreciate where i lived but i wanted my own space i wanted you know to learn how to be more independent uh, but it's understandable why i started off where i started off because of course my age but yeah my year would be more satisfying if i had my own space space is really really important to me i like my personal space so yeah um how would you describe your personal fashion this year child my fashion my fashion my fashion my fashion is just dressing as long as i go as, as long as i look good and i'm comfortable and i look presentable what kept you sane prayer 
the reason why I am where I am. So a friend of mine, yo guys, I have a friend me and he is God sent. Like literally God sent him to me. Um he's an amazing person. Like he is an amazing person. Shout out to him. Like he kept me saying, um yeah though we didn't speak a lot because obviously school and stuff but you honestly kept me sane yeah um which celebrity or public public figure did you admire the most hmm um Honestly, no one. No one. I did not admire anyone. I, honestly, I would. I did not admire anyone this year, like celebrity or public figure. I can post your pictures and videos if they're nice, but like to admire, chat. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Um, who do you miss? I miss my great grandmother. I just miss her. I miss her, man. I really, honestly, really miss her. Apart from her, who do I miss? I miss my cousins. Like I miss us just hanging out together, um, just chilling. Like especially December holidays, us being together, catching up, and um, who was the best new person you met? I don't think anyone apart from the friend that I told you guys about they, we didn't even meet this year we met last year so no one last one what is a quote that sums up your year you oh wow oh wow that is the phrase that sums up my year. Oh, wow. What a journey. 2021 has been a journey. A journey of learning, loving, hating, letting go, pain, suffering, unless. All I can say to 2021 is goodbye. You taught us a lot of lessons. You made us realize a lot of things. You took away a lot of people. You brought in new people. You taught us many lessons. Um, oh, it's been rough. But at the same time, I am grateful and thankful that I made it out alive. Many people lost their lives due to COVID, um, other issues. So, yeah. I would say the, the not really quote, but the phrase that sums up the year is oh wow what a journey <laughs> that is all i can say oh wow oh wow <laughs> so that is it with the questions uh, so yeah i think that is all with all that i would love to wish you guys a prosperous new year um stay safe stay blessed uh remember that the lord loves you and always remember that you can do all things through Christ that strengthens you, that gives you strength. Um, stay blessed. I love you guys so much. Bye.